topiaries are such a fun decor piece to DIY. Even when you DIY them, they can cost you about $30 to make. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make one of those beautiful pumpkin topiary pieces for under $10 using the fall and autumn pieces that you can find at Dollar Tree right now for $1.25. So come craft on a budget with me and see how easily you can make one too on a budget. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. We're going to take four. Yep, I said four of these pumpkin wall decor plaques. Guess when you can get them? Right now at Dollar Tree. They come with this leaf metal embellishment that you're gonna remove, but you're gonna set it aside because guess what? We're gonna use it again later. Sometimes these wall decor plaques, the paper isn't set on them very evenly. So I like to remove the paper because I use the backside of these pumpkins because it's a blank canvas. But the last thing I want is that paper hanging off the side that you either feel like you need to sand off or cut off. The paper comes off super easy on these plaques, so just go ahead and peel it off. Don't worry about perfection, because this is gonna be the back side. On the back side, I'm using a new technique for filling in these holes. I'm starting off by putting masking tape on the back side where the hole is. This is gonna help just a bit, so when we place the spackling, the hole filler in, it doesn't push through the hole, and it's gonna give us a cleaner, smoother surface. You're not even gonna see the outline of these holes. The colors that I'm sticking with for this fall season is an aqua, a desert tan, kind of that beige color, some pumpkin orange, and a darker chocolate brown. Two of the four pumpkins, well, they're gonna get a nice good coating of Hello Hobby's Desert Tan. I am loving that you cannot see even the indentation or the outline of those holes. And well, that's because I perfected this technique just by adding the tape on the backside. So like I said, two of the pumpkins are gonna be beige, cream, tan, you choose. This aqua blue, what a fun color for this fall season. Incorporate this into your decor. Kind of freshen it up a bit. So one of the four pumpkins is gonna get a coat of this paint. And for this last pumpkin, I'm gonna go with a nice rustic orange, which would be that Hello Hobby pumpkin orange, but you're gonna wanna mix just a bit of that brown into it, just to take the brightness away, kind of mute it out and rustic it up a bit. This is such an easy DIY. Once your pumpkins are good and painted, I want the stem to look a little rustic. An easy way to achieve that is to add some burlap. Instead of painting the stem, add some texture to it. Wrap it in twine, add some fabric, or in my case, because I love burlap so much, I'm gonna add burlap to it. One of my favorite things to craft with, Tim Holtz Distress Ink. This color is walnut stain. I'm gonna take a stiffer paintbrush with very short bristles. I find that this is the easiest way to add detailing to a pumpkin plaque like this. Pumpkins have ribs. Those are those indentations that a pumpkin has. Our pumpkin plaque needs those indentations. It's gonna make it look more real. It's gonna add dimension to it and I feel like it just kind of elevates the DIY or your piece to a whole nother level. Don't worry so much about perfection because the more imperfect it is, the more perfect it is. When have you ever seen a perfect pumpkin? You don't. So I like to use, I guess, the lines or the indentations on the plaque itself as a guide as to where I'm gonna put these lines. And so you can see right where I'm going with this, just by taking this brush and a bit of the ink, you can easily do that. I feel like using a distress ink is a lot easier than using paint because I feel like you don't have to, again, be as perfect with your lines. And when they don't come out perfect, it just looks more amazing. Why would we stop at the rib lines when it comes to distressing, when just by adding a bit of shading to the outside edges of the pumpkin, darkening up the edges of the plaque, it really is gonna add, guess what? more dimension, personality, and character to your DIY. Why not? I'm gonna darken up the stem as well. 
There's still three more pumpkins that I've got to add some detailing to. For those of you who may be intimidated and may say to me in the comments section, Kelly, you make it look so easy, but when I try it, it doesn't come out looking like yours. Sure it will. Practice makes perfect. I didn't get to where I'm at with crafting. The first try I did it, you've got four pumpkins to do this. So by the fourth one, you're guaranteed to be a pro at adding the detailing to them. Oh my word, the excitement is real. I love the way these turned out. They kind of have a cartoon vibe to it, but I'm loving it. This is a pumpkin topiary, which means these pumpkins need to be stacked. So to do that, I'm gonna place a bit of hot glue right where the stem is on the back side of the plaque and a bit below the stem because I'm going to overlap my plaques and I'm gonna do it in a way so the stem shows on each of the plaques above it. I'm gonna stack all four of these plaques the same way I'm using the lines at the bottom of each of the plaques to actually gauge where I place my plaques so they stand straight, they're even, and we don't have a lopsided topiary. These aluminum words that you can find at Dollar Tree right now for $1.25, you're gonna get three of them in a pack. They make the perfect embellishment for these just by adding some of the smaller wood beads that Dollar Tree has in their packs that I really don't have much of a use for. They're gonna work perfect for these aluminum words to elevate them up off of the plaques, giving us dimension. It is these fine details that are added to a DIY like this that make all the difference. When you add these beads, it really does elevate it versus just placing the aluminum words on the plaque itself. It really does look a lot different and it makes all the difference in the world. Now, I know that these aluminum words might be a bit hard to come by because Dollar Tree doesn't stock the same items in every store. Well, guess what? Linda's making them available in cardstock for instant digital download or for her to cut and send them to you with free shipping. The great thing about this option is if you are not a silver person and you're into gold, well, she's got a set in gold. You can find the link to Linda's Etsy store in the description box below. Remember these? These are gonna make the perfect embellishment to add below the stem of each of the pumpkins. I did add a bead to each of the leaves because why not elevate it? When placing these leaves, I decided to go the route of alternating which side of the stem each of the leaves went on on each of the pumpkins, just to again, kind of mix things up a bit so it doesn't look so repetitious. Even though it kind of is, it isn't. In the fall for my DIYs, I typically go the route of using raffia. This time, I just was feeling the twine bow. So I'm gonna finish the top pumpkin off with a twine bow. Cause why not? Cause we can. To stand our pumpkins up so it is a topiary, but it's not gonna be in a pot. It's just gonna be a topiary pumpkin stand. Cause why not? That's what I'm gonna call it. I decided to go the route of using three of the wood blocks that you can get at Dollar Tree. And can I just say that these have gotten a bit lighter over time. They're not as heavy as they used to be. I feel like they're hollow on the inside. Nonetheless, I'm gonna use them anyway. I outlined it with some of the wood glue by Crazy Glue and on the inside, I'm gonna place just a bit of hot glue for video purposes just to keep this going. I'm gonna place them when my plaques are standing because I find that is the best way to get placement. I started to realize that this was a bit top heavy so I dug into my stash, picked up these plaques and decided to hot glue them to the back just like so, just to give it a bit of stability. Then I realized that I placed that top block wrong. I should have placed it down. I didn't want to rip this apart, so I just dug into my stash of blocks and added another one. That top block is not needed. So when placing your blocks, I'm going to blame it on COVID brain again. I really am. Place them just like so. Let's go take a look at this DIY. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? 
It's going out to Rachel Reese, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY seasonal slide plaque and holder. Rachel, thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today. $10 for this pumpkin topiary, I'm gonna say is a win-win. It is definitely a fall and harvest decor piece that you can say you made on a budget and the outcome is amazing. I hope you all enjoyed my DIY Dollar Tree pumpkin topiary. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes. Because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please, because I am. Bye for now, everybody. <laughs>